What is up guys, Steven Womack here and I'm back with another tutorial for you guys. Just a few days ago I had this amazing shoot with Maria here in Barcelona on the terrace. Um, we did it at that golden hour just before the sun sets in the evening and we came out with this amazing shot right here. Um, I posted it on my Instagram account. I got a lot of love from you guys so thank you so much for liking and commenting. And you asked me to show you how to recreate this look, how to come as close to this vintage film look as possible. Now I'll show you how to get the same look using only your smartphone and the free Lightroom app. Now of course as always I've also created a preset for you guys to save you some time. If you don't want to toggle along to the whole tutorial feel free to check it out. The link is under this video and you can download it from my all presets pack on my website. And In that all presets pack there's over 250 presets for you to easily paste to every one of your pictures to make them look great. Cool thing about this all presets pack is that every time I create new presets they're automatically updated to the pack so you just have to buy it once and get that growing presets pack which is a great deal so make sure to check that out link is under this video of course subscribe to the channel hit the notifications bell and if there's anything else you need from me feel free to dm me on instagram at steven womack is my handle now i've said enough let's jump into this tutorial the first thing you want to do is take that picture at golden hour with your mobile phone make sure if you have the portrait mode to use that portrait mode to get that really nice blur effect in the background and once we have the picture we want to open it in the free lightroom app now we have this picture right here this is the picture straight out of the camera that raw form first thing we want to do to get that hazy look is go to curve on the top here and then just pull up the bottom a little bit and you can see that kind of hazy layer on top of the picture now that's perfect we're done here in this case we want to boost up the exposure a little bit to plus 0.26 contrast down a little bit to negative 17 boost up the highlights to plus 41 pull down the shadows to negative 30 six and boost up the whites a little bit to plus 19 and pull down the blacks now all the way to negative 60 right here then the next thing we do is go to the colors tab what you want to do here is just boost up the temperature really slightly to plus seven make it warm and the tint up to around plus 10 or 9 is perfect and then the saturation we want to pull that down to negative 13. we scroll up hit mix on the upper right to bring the skin tones back for the red on the left side we just want to boost up the saturation all the way to plus 35 and then we want to pull down the luminance a little bit to negative 22. orange tones here boost up the saturation to plus 39 and the yellow tones boost up the saturation to plus 15. we're done with the mix we go to grading and this is where that vintage effect comes in here for the shadows what we want to do is pull the hue to around 218 right here that blue area and the saturation up to around 58 right there and now we can see that blue in the shadows we might want to pull up the luminance a little bit to around 18 here then for the midtones, we want to pull the hue to around 57, that yellow area, and the saturation, we're going to boost that up to around 15 right here. Then we're already done. Last thing we do is go over to effects, and now what you want to do is boost up the texture to around plus 18, and the clarity up to around plus 33 right here. And now dehaze, we want to pull that down to negative 5 or negative 6 to kind of get that uh, dusty vibe in there again. And then the grain, we want to pull that up to around 41. Depending on how big your image is, you want to go more or less with the grain. Just uh, go until you like it, until it looks good to you. And once we have this, we're done with the look. And then this is it guys, here's a full before and after and I hope you're happy with this look. Once again, thank you so much for requesting this tutorial today. Uh, thank you for showing all the love on this picture that I posted on my Instagram account. And of course, as always, if you want to save some time, I've created a preset on exactly this look. It's linked under this video. It's in that all presets pack with over 250 presets for you to easily paste to every one of your pictures on your mobile phone in that free Lightroom app. It's a great deal. The cool thing about this all preset pack is that every time I create new presets, they're automatically added to the pack. So you just have to get it once and you'll get a growing presets pack. Make sure to check it out. Link is under this video. Now, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. If you have any new ideas for new videos, always feel free to DM me on Instagram 
at Stephen Womack is my handle. And I hope I'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay creative, stay healthy, peace.